It's 7.03 on Thursday, July 11th, 73 degrees, less sticky this morning. We're going up to the low 90s today. I'm John Aaron. And I'm Michelle Bash. Our top local story, there's relief for drivers this morning who have been bogged down by road closures around the NATO summit. WTOP's Grace Newton has the latest on what's changing. Here on 17th Street Northwest, just east of the White House, cars are getting by just fine. D.C. police say 17th, 15th, and Constitution Avenue around the White House are open for morning commute. 8th Street remains closed between 17th and Vermont. Meanwhile, most road closures around Mellon Auditorium have been lifted. Previous closures will remain in place through tomorrow around the Washington Convention Center. And despite a heavy security presence surrounding the closures earlier this week, things are a bit quieter today. Near the White House, Grace Newton, WTOP News. And as always, you can check back with WTOP for traffic updates every 10 minutes on the 8th. A welcome change is here today after that high heat and humidity we've been experiencing lately. 7 News First Alert meteorologist Brian Vandegraaff tells us what you can expect to feel when stepping outside. The humidity is already coming down. I mean, I mean if you when you step outside the door this morning, you'll notice a little bit of a different feel. So even though it's still going to be a warm day, low 90s, it is not going to be oppressive. You know, out of the last six days we've had temperatures 97 or greater for six days in a row so that's pretty pretty intense today we're going to go for low 90 so it will definitely feel better it'll be a dry day and as always stick with wtop for weather updates on the eights as well even though we got a little rain last night there are still drought conditions in parts of our area wtop's kate ryan says that could mean some trouble finding local eggs fruits and vegetables Ali Mahajer, owner of East Oaks Farm in Montgomery County, is grateful he recently moved to a type of irrigation system that cuts his need to water crops. We grow tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, and we have heirloom tomatoes. And he has chickens, hundreds of Rhode Island Reds who are clustered around a fan in the shade of their coops. Just as humans have a tougher time working in the heat, egg layers become, well, less productive. We expect to get somewhere between 18 to 20 dozen eggs a day. Now our reproduction is down to 12. The Potomac River watershed's experiencing moderate to severe drought conditions and that has farmers keeping a close eye on the skies for more rain while they do all they can to conserve on the ground. Kate Ryan, WTOP News. A construction worker who survived the Baltimore Bridge collapse is speaking out for the first time. 37-year-old Julio Cervantes Suarez was one of eight workers on the key bridge when it came down. He spoke to Tom Yamas of NBC Nightly News. Cervantes says he floated to a piece of the bridge lodged in the river and started to call out for his co-workers. Alejandro, Dorian, Miguel. But he heard nothing. He says he's most saddened by the loss of his nephew, 24-year-old Carlos Daniel Hernandez, whom he considered a son. He wishes he could have one last conversation with him and thank him for being part of his life. And he says his brother-in-law, 35-year-old Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes, was one of the six workers killed in the March 26th collapse. Virginia Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton is using AI to recreate her voice as she battles a disease that affects her ability to both speak and move. Last year, Wexton was diagnosed with progressive supranuclear palsy, or PSP. The Congresswoman used to use a text-to-speech app. Now she's just revealed her new AI voice on X. For those of you who heard me speak before PSP robbed me of my full voice, you may think your ears are deceiving you right now. I assure you, they are not. I'm very pleased to debut my new AI voice and share how this remarkable technology has helped empower me to keep living my life and doing the job I love. Wexton says she cried happy tears when she first heard her new old voice. The congresswoman won her seat in 2022 and will serve for the remainder of her term, but she says she won't seek re-election in November. Coming up in Money News. Layoff or pay cut? Which would you choose? I'm Jeff Claybaugh. And we've got traffic and weather in 30 seconds.